here and in this video I'm going to be looking at this this simple um, meter or it looks simple um, I bought it a couple of weeks ago and obviously things are taking a while to get here um, but it's here now which is very exciting and uh, I'm going to do a little review on it um, I've already unboxed it just to save the covering up of the address so it comes in a bag not the most um, Posh posting, postage. It's got a nice little protector on the, if you can see there, it's got a nice little uh, film on here, which I'll take off after I put it up. I'm not going to screw it up, but you can't even screw it up. I'm going to blue tack it probably or double sided tape it um, because this place that I'm in isn't actually mine. So here you go, you've got a source and a load. So what I'm going to use this for is me measure all the um, <coughs> solar coming in. So this is 150 amp max and it measures the amps, the volts. I did, wasn't quite sure what this bottom left one was and then it measures the um, watts as well. So very interesting. Uh, and there's a manual which uh, I'll only look at if I install it and it doesn't work because uh, nobody needs them. <laughs> so it's just over there on the wall. I'm sure you've seen it a couple of times before in my previous videos. So I'm going to be installing this 150 amp it says high precision watt meter um, and power analyzer and it's just as simple as you've got an input and an output that doesn't sound too promising we'll see if it works so this is where I have temporarily fixed my charge controller and I will be moving this picture down which kind of makes sense because then they're all along this line of tongue and groove I'll be doing the same with that one just for symmetry um, uh, but basically I'm going to put the little meter that you just saw I reckon I'm going to put it here so the solar is going to come in and then it's going to go into the thing because it comes in the left so I'm going to have to make this white cable go around I think I've got some slack and then it will carry on and go into there and I'm just going to use some um, simple butt connectors cable goes in each end and you just crimp it just like that you can see all the way through um, and yeah just got some crimping and this is next video which I'm going to record straight after but that will be uh, in a couple of days time so I'm going to put time lapse on of me literally just what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the solar uh, as quick as possible because I'm getting in solar um, because it's been really sunny the last couple of days and then today's a bit meh a bit cloudy here and there so it's supposed to clear up later so I should get away with unplugging it for a bit and then I'll just crimp these connectors on quickly and then screw it into the charge controller again and it should work. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you after that. So here it is, um, you probably can't hear it but it makes quite a, a little whine in the background. There you go. Um, it was saying there was one watt coming in before, but now it says zero and it says zero amps. But it's got the voltage right, 13.4. We've got 13.4 volts coming in, um, so that's very nice. It's all of a sudden just got really hot too. <laughs> the sun came out and then it hits this canvas and it's like um, a heater. So yeah, that goes there. I'm gonna touch that there. Turns out it does actually come source that way so yeah uh, I think that's pretty good I'm not sure as to why it's not showing the other bits of information because when it wasn't hooked up to the charge controller yet it was showing the bits of information but now it's not um, so not entirely sure but my main thing was to see the voltage well and the amps but um, maybe it'll kick in uh, once it resets uh, in the night when the solar panel's gone off. We'll see. I'll probably do a follow-up clip because this video isn't coming out for another week or two. So I'll do a follow-up clip tomorrow morning and I'll tell you how 
how it's been all day because yeah I'd like to see myself as well um, so yeah I'll get back to you tomorrow hello everyone it is now the next morning and um, as you might be able to tell back there very bright uh, I hope it's not under or overexposed sorry about that didn't check so if I just show you what is going on here now um, so here is the meter itself and as you can see there's another one which is next uh, in two days I believe well it's the next video um, here I worked out now so before the amps and watts were saying zero and that was because this sticker I don't know if you can see on there there's a sticker and it says 150 amp at the top and it's got some text at the bottom and it says load there and it says source there that sticker was upside down to the display um, so I connected the source to the load and the load to the source so the amps and the um, watts weren't measuring uh, but the voltage was. Um, so yeah, so now I've got it coming in the source because I swapped the sticker around this morning. Uh, I did swap the cables over yesterday though. Uh, so this is just crimped here, goes in through the meter, which does automatically shut off obviously because it's powered by the solar, so at night it goes off. So, as you can tell, well the sun's going in behind a cloud. Um, so this is the charge controller, that's dropping down. Um, as you can see here, so we've got 14 volts coming in now, that says 18 when it's full normally. Um, and then here we got how many amp hours I've done today, 4 hours, 4 amp hours, 62 watt hours, uh, I'm not sure what that one is. And then this is the voltage minimum, so 19 volts, um, and yeah, then it just cycles through them. So this is the amp, so I've got 0.2 amps, that's because the battery is full, it's at 14.4 solar stop coming in. And then here, you got six watts uh, and then 19 volts. So we got a lot of power, but uh, nothing's plugged in, so um, that isn't, um, so it basically the solar panel's not charging anything. So yeah, this is quite a cool meter if you get it the right way around. Um, I had a bit of problem, because obviously the solar slowly drops down in voltage at night and then slowly builds up again. I had a bit of trouble this morning, it was just a blue screen, so I disconnected it, plugged it back in, and then it was on 12 volts and slowly dropped down to about 5 and then shut the solar off again, so there wasn't anything coming in. Um, and then I unplugged it again, plugged it back in, and then it started climbing again. Not sure what that was about and whether that is just literally um, the fact that it climbs, but I'll test it tomorrow morning as well. Um, but yeah, so it works. It works all right overnight. Shut itself off, obviously, um, and then that obviously resets it all. So you can. So basically, the watt hours and amp hours and what it's produced is just for that day, which is quite useful. Um, and check out, subscribe, and click the notification bell and like it if you did. And it will be in the solar playlist, budget solar playlist, because it's this thing I didn't mention cost eight pounds. Um, but please do subscribe and check out next week's video because that is the thing you saw above, which is a very interesting thing and I think even more worth the money. Um, so I'd definitely stay tuned for that. So if you're not subscribed, please do because that helps out massively. Um, and uh, the hope you enjoyed the van videos. Hopefully there'll be a few more. Um, I believe there will be. Uh, and yeah, I hope everyone's doing well at the moment. And I'll keep you updated. But there'll probably be many more solar videos on this solar setup before I get the van and do the huge solar setup. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Mm -hmm.